people of YouTube land, it's your girl, makeup artist, Deshaun Hatcher, all the way from funky and 60 degree weather in New York City. What? Stop it. It's going to rain this week though. Anyway, I digress. I'm here to help my fabulous makeup artist just be better at some skills, at some organizing, at stuff. <laughs> As I talk about many things that I'm obsessed with, I think that this is officially the one thing that I'm not obsessed with, but I'm cracked out of my mind about, to be honest with you. I love brushes. I have a lot of brushes. It's so funny because I have a lot of brushes, but I've seen a lot of people on YouTube and on Instagram, they got way more brushes than me, okay? And they are not even makeup artists. So I'm like, you go people with your brush obsession because I get it. <laughs> do you need when you first start out? Now that is the magical question. And the thing about newbies is you're going to be testing. Yes, isn't that the whole point? You're going to be testing. And testing will require you to most times do one, two, three, four different looks on one model right? Because the photographer wants to get as much out of you as he can. The model wants to get as much out of, out of you as they can. And you want to get as many pictures as you can. So if you're doing one, two, three, four different looks on one girl, well, what the hell does that mean, Deshaun? Well, it means you need a lot of brushes, right? correct? So if you brought two brush sets, you will have enough brushes for a multitude of different looks. And there are economical brush companies out there that I happen to love that are of the pro quality. They have pro attached to the name, not because they just slapped it on there, but because they have been proven over time that these brushes are pro friendly, amazing, hello, stop the presses, get these brushes. And you know, there are several companies that I happen to love. Um, there is Royal, and I say Royal and Lang Nickel, I'll spell it down below. Really amazing brush company, love, love, love them. And then you have Crown Brushes, which are economical brushes. Uh, Stalazi, Stalazi, I did a whole video on Stalazi brushes. You can always get them at iMats and The Makeup Show. They always have a huge um, booth at those places that you should think about getting. So now let's say you got the brush set, right? Bravo, my people. Now you know out of that brush set, you're gonna use them, you know, use them, like use them up, okay? And then what will happen is, you're gonna to gravitate towards the brushes that you love, right? Because it, it, we all love a certain brush. It's like, ooh, we love this brush. So we all gravitate to a certain brush that we love or brushes that we love, right? Um, it will once you start going and start working, you will develop your hand and you will know, gee, I really thought I was gonna love this big brush, but I think for blush, but I really think I love it for powder. And want you guys to make up your own minds, okay? But this brush set really irks the hell out of me. It's this BH Cosmetics uh, brush set that has all the same freaking brushes in it. The problem with these things is, is that you guys see price and you see quantity, but you don't really see the quality coming out of this brush set. What I mean by that is, if you pay attention to the brushes in the set, 98% of them are all the same brush. What the hell are you gonna do with that? So I want you to start looking at brush sets that have like different sizes and, and um, shapes to them. Here's the other beauty of buying a brush set. It takes the guesswork out of it for you. It literally takes the guesswork. I don't know what lip brush and I don't know what this and I don't know what that. Well, you're gonna know because it's gonna be in your set. And the beauty of it is, is you're gonna get to use it on all different types of occasions. All have different tiers and layers of really amazing brushes at a really amazing price. Okay. So now I'm giving you what did I say? Stalazi, Crown, Royal, and Langnickel. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm missing so many other brush companies. 
Um, but these are the ones I have. These are the ones that I personally have in my kit. Also, don't forget br um, companies, makeup companies have their own brushes. We all know that MAC has their own brushes, NARS, even Face Atelier has their own brushes. In fact, look at this beautiful joint right here. Ooh. This brush is gorgeous. I can't all. Oh. So <laughs> they have their own brush too. Now, if you turn around and say to me, well, Deshaun, I don't have $150 to spend on brushes, then I'm going to say, well, maybe you should wait to start your career because brushes, my darlings, are something you have to invest in. It. You cannot always go for the cheap, 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 okay? And I'm giving you economical brushes. I didn't say go out and buy the, br you know, a brush that is $80. So I want, I want to make that clear. These beautiful little brushes are the very first brushes that I bought for my kit 17 years ago. Guess what? See, still have them, still working. This is 17 years of Cinema Secrets. Still here, still working. These are Italian Badger brushes. These brushes and this brush set back in the day cost me, um, I think it cost me $150 and I got a sale price. Um, I just wanted to show you that and, and let you real and let you know that your brushes will last. They can last. This is 17 years ago I bought these. So your brushes will last. I want that to be clear. The other thing about brushes that I want you to be careful with, especially because a lot of people will have to buy them online, they won't have a chance to touch them and feel them, right? Please do your research before you buy brushes from these companies because I want you to be able to return them if you don't like them. Or sometimes what will happen is the brushes will come and there'll be that one funky one that comes to you out of a set of 12 and then all of a sudden the hair start falling out and stuff like that. I want you to be able to return them if they suck, okay? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna quickly kind of go over synthetic brushes versus uh, natural hair brushes. Some people, some makeup artists will swear, I only use natural hair brushes. And some makeup artists say, I love my synthetic brushes. And some, like me, <laughs> go in between the two. I love um, a really beautiful natural hair bristle brush, but, I also love me, honey, some synthetic brushes. Let me tell you, synthetic brushes have come a long way from when I started, okay? When we got synthetic brushes, like when you would put the synthetic brush against your skin, it was like, it just was rough. It just felt really, really, really rough. And synthetic brushes were um, just kind of stiff and they kind of didn't really move. So let me show you the difference in brushes. A brush from 17 years ago to a brush of today. One is a natural hair brush and one is a synthetic brush. Okay, so this right here is a natural haired brush. This is, uh, this is an Italian badger brush. This little thing that goes like in here is really supposed to be a foundation brush. But today, this is what a foundation brush looks like. So can you see the difference? Look how flat and thin that joint is. Right? That's what we had to work with back then. This, look how thick this is. Look at the two. Look at, let me see. Let me make sure I got it right. Look at the two. I'll put it on my shirt. Look at the two. Look how different it is. So I'm making a point because synthetic brushes have come a long way. They look, la, 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 la. they're so soft. <laughs> they're so soft and they spread the makeup beautifully. I'm a really huge uh, proponent of beautiful synthetic brushes and synthetic brushes are a little bit less than a natural hair brush. I want you guys to, to learn how to invest in your kit. And when you invest in your kit, you invest in your business and you invest in yourself, okay? So beautiful people, this girl is out <laughs> because whew, I got a lot of stuff to do today. And I will be back next week with yet another video. And as always, my fabulous people, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, below. Let me know how you feel. How many brushes did you start out with? That would be cool to know. I started out with about 24 brushes. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and I will be back next week with another video. Bye beautiful people.